Hey guys, Reaper here. Today I'm going to play through a game called Wasteland 3. It's a role-playing game. I'm going to be doing it long form, and it's turn-based combat. It's very, very fun. I've played Wasteland 1 and 2, including Fallout 1 and 2, and Wasteland 3 is different in the way that it's in post-apocalyptic Colorado. The Rangers come from Arizona to Colorado to try to find supplies by making a deal with a guy called the Patriarch. As, as with all Fallout and Wasteland games, it gets very detailed and very deep. Choices really matter, but the most fun part is pretty much every choice leads to somebody exploding in blood everywhere. So I think this game was made by In Exile. I'm not too concerned about who made it. I'm more concerned about just playing through. I know most of my content isn't long form like this, but I'm going to start interspersing a little bit of this in because I play these games anyway. So I might as well sneak them in there. And next week I'll be putting out another Dominion's Guide. Let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer this kind of content or if you like me to mix them up or if you want to see another Dominion's video, what Dominion's Nation or idea you're looking for for the next one. I'll try and crank it out. All right, let's get to the video. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. <sighs> Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. road lately but that's the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting the rangers never stop fighting All right, here we are, guys. We're starting off a new playthrough of Wasteland 3. It's a long-form content, and I know a lot of people aren't in for that. Feel free to skip these videos. They'll be in between our Dominion stuff and other videos, but I haven't played Wasteland 3 in a long time, and when I did play it, I only played a small amount of it. Maybe the first little city 
or whatever. So I'm playing on Supreme Jerk difficulty, nothing customized, and I'm playing with a couple of characters that we've created for ourselves, the Professor and Reaper. And we're going to go out and try and make this work on Supreme Jerk. No promises that we'll finish, but we'll do our best and try and walk our way through it. If I remember correctly, this turret gets turned on, so we get to use it to blast some of the guys. So I feel like saving ammo would be a good idea here. Because we have a brawler, and we have an automatic weapons user. A couple hypos. Let's see what we can do here. I think we need to protect ourselves from all these guys, because otherwise we're going to run into some problems. 90% chance to shoot here. 90% is a pretty good chance. We'll take that shot every time. I know we're leaving ourselves open to this flank. If this person comes around here or this person comes around here, we're going to have a flank exposed. But do we really want to put ourselves out here or over here where we're going to get shot? Probably not. Who has more defense? 3% evasion, no armor. Oh, Lord. And not equip in combat? Why would you start me with such good things and then not let me? Oh, we got some good stuff. All right, we just got to get through this combat then. Let's put ourselves... Sergeant Walsh looks like he's about to get shot. So we'll actually just prepare, save some points till next turn. Because I know this comes out. I remember this well enough. Yep. There's the problem. I don't think so. I think this is the problem right here. 90% chance to eliminate that guy. Yep. That's pretty solid. Now, if we defend, we get 5 evasion for each point spent. That's 20 evasion. That's pretty solid. We might want to do that just to see if we can survive. I feel like if we go here, we're going to expose ourselves to this monster who is going to shoot at us for sure. So what I think we'll do is we'll go around here, and then we will take cover as well. Yep. That'll at least split the damage up. Uh oh, one of us is down already. That's a great start. November, you have targeting control. Alright, let's line this up so we can take out the majority of these people. Alright, Fesser here needs to pop a hypo, keep himself alive, try to get Reaper up. And now he's injured. What can Reaper do now? He has three. Can pop a hypo as well. Yep. We just have to defend and hope we don't get shot to death. Alright, they are not the most intelligent people. Get some fist power in there. Boom. Let's see if Reaper can position to get a decent shot here. No, not really. Actually, wait. This thing can shoot again? Okay. Let's handle that. Over here, you two. Come here. Oh, okay. Listen, if you want to live through this. We gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Yeah, we got it. Now's not the time for attitude, Rangers. Remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no quitting here. There's no going back. All right, all right. All right, move out. And keep an eye out for survivors. Let's not leave anyone behind. All right, so now we're getting started. Alright, so shift lights everything up for us. I remember a lot of the controls, but not all of them. So let's... Well, let's first... If I click on this, do I collect everything? Scrap. Muscle tissue? Raw materials needed for mad science. Alright. Spikes. Ammo and janky weapons. Casio watch. Moldy socket. Scrap. Burnt book. 
yellow yellow snowball. 10% chance to apply the stink, apply black thaw, Denver rot, freezer burn, ice pox, mountain, mountain oyster. Rocky Mountain Oyster. All right. All right. I think we picked everything up. Let's take a look at our weapons. He is a brawler, but he... All right. So we'll go over our character design in a second here. There we go. The look. The grizzly. Better damage. Put both on. All right. No armor yet. Let's go equip Reaper with something. He has an assault rifle, but... Let's put on Winter Warrior. Yeah, let's put on Hailstorm. And the rocket launcher. So, our basic design for, what is your injury? Minus evasion, minus combat speed, minus downtime. Now you just walk all weird, nice. All right, so we have the professor. His design is max out charisma for maxed experience bonus. Try and level him up as quickly as possible. Everything else, we just got some coordination for a little bit of AP and a little defense, because he's up close. A little bit of strength. We pre-planned all of our characters. So, theoretically, we have an idea. Our primary concern is to level up Professor as quickly as possible with Bookworm. He's got the Polished Ranger badge to level up. He's got decent stats just to kind of brawl and punch people. The faster he levels up, the better he is. He'll be good at brawling, lockpicking mechanics, and nerd stuff. He'll cover that for us. And then what we're going to try to do is level him up as quickly as possible. And then in this game, if you remove characters from your party and add them back in, they will level back up to the average level of the party, theoretically, if I remember correctly from back in the day. So what we're going to do is this guy's going to be our power level guy to kind of power up everybody else. But I didn't want him to just be a cheesy. So he's also good at lockpicking, which gives the most EXP in the game. Mechanics and nerd stuff, it kind of fits. Reaper is more, he's still got some charisma because I plan on killing people with him and you can see you get bonuses, leadership bonuses and strike rate. The important thing is strike rate because I want him to be able to land. Since we're playing on Supreme Jerk difficulty, no matter what your chance to hit is, you always have a 5% chance to miss. I don't like that in Supreme Jerk because 5% chance to miss can get you killed. So we're gonna go coordination, a little bit of speed, little bit of awareness and strength but we're primarily focusing on using strike rate to get our strikes up more often than not so we have 100% chance to hit because strike attacks always hit now we're starting off with kind of low percent chance to survive just because our characters are designed for later he's got some leadership give him a chance to hit bonus on boss kill and multi kill that's the key for this character sneaky stuff so he can lead with shots and explosive so he can lead with a rocket launcher with sneaky stuff. If you look at sneaky shit, if you max this out, you get 100% bonus sneak attack damage on your first shot. And I believe lights out doubles it. So this goes up to double. And then with explosives, I'll just be launching a rocket in the beginning to blow people up doing the double damage and everything else. So that's our basic idea. We'll go over it more a little later as we go. Right now we're damaged and we're just trying to survive the introduction sequence the best we can. Now I do always want to look at stats and see who has the best perception. One, two. So he leads the way. Alright, so Reaper's in the way. Keep tapping shift so we can see what's coming. Looks like that guy's dead. Can't really interact with him. That was a rocket. Alright. Well, that was fun. Let's see what this is. Powder burns on the ranger's jacket. Shot a point blank range. Alright. Oh, what's up ahead of us? Okay, that's a detection range, I'm guessing, so... We only have a 69% chance. So let's switch to Brawler, get him closer. And then have Reaver take a shot. There we go. Handled him. Hit R for our reflexive reload. Every time I play XCOM or Wasteland style games, I always reflexively reload. Whoa! I did not recall that happening. Occupants managed to escape. You don't know where they went. We're doing our quick save. Open this ranger's abdomen and remove his intestines, judging by the expression frozen on his face. He was alive when I have an ouch. All right, so we're going to be using... You'll see save game pop up here a lot. We're going to be quick saving, and then you can hit, you know, quick load to reload. Um... Where's your CEO? I know? Jody Bell. Maybe That's somebody we plan on having on our team. I want her head. It's gonna be me who brings it to Jared. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. You're hiding her from me. You're denying me my glory. Get that fucking gun off of me. There we go. Thanks. Don't think I could have lasted another second. Really did a number on me. Any other from your squad? No, likely. Most of them burned with our transport. 
couple more went under the ice and wait major tom he might have made it saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked major tom to ground control come with you if you find him he gets pretty spooked but take these all right might get his attention cat that smokes Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. All right. Be careful. Sure thing. Voice acting is pretty good in this game. I always love that. Fallout games, Wasteland games, Rad Cuts coupon, free haircut at Rad Cuts Barbershop. Good. We got a couple more hypos. Takers key. All right. And just be aware, this is definitely not a tutorial whatsoever. This is just me doing a playthrough. I'm not the greatest at this game by any stretch. I just really enjoy these style games. And I play them, figured I'd put them out there. trouble. How far do they come? Not that far? Okay. Let's go. Oh yeah. At least they'll die with you, that's for sure. Let's wait for him to come back, and then we'll just drop this bomb right here. Nice and easy. There we go. Now we're talking. We don't want to run through this fire yet. And I know this person can just go this way and start picking us off, so let's see if Reaper can do anything else. Probably not. Let's just defend. Hope we survive up here. And with our brawler, we can take full points. That's what? How much AP do we have? Seven. Seven times five is 35% evasion. Let's see what happens. Good. Excellent. If I run through here, I'm going to burn, aren't I? Possibly. Let's see if Reaper can eliminate the need for us to worry about that. If I go over here, and that person does not move, we're good to go. Let's save extra points, prepare, and see what we can do next turn. Let's see if this fire goes out. Oh, that didn't go well. Alright. See, I feel like running through here is going to get me caught on fire. Right, we get ourselves over here. This guy's kind of useless. See if we can go over here and then defend ourselves. Can't kill Dorsey's live. Really? Let's try punching this guy in the face. See what happens. Yeah. Get punched in the face, homie. Get ourselves some half cover over here. See if we can't eliminate this. Gotcha.
Ooh, some grenades. Alright, we know who we're putting that on. You, buddy boy. Some med hypo. Put you, let's put a med hypo. I mean, er this early in the game, we might want to just put everything possible on both characters so they can survive. Because we're not going to do well if we're very efficient with items. Since we're struggling so much already. So let's go to him. Have him use another hypo. Get himself going a little more. Put the professor up front for a little bit. Oh! Let's repair this broken valve. And freeze that robot to death. Alright, good. Cool. Get frozen. What's this? Machine turret? Sludge chassis. Now one of us is pretty good at mechanics. So let's see if we can put the machine turret. Nah, it requires two. Okay. Status ready. Reprogram network to target non-humans. Nah, then we're fighting. We'll just disable the defenses. Now it's offline. We probably missed some EXP there. That's okay. Mistakes shall be made, especially with me leading the charge. Let's pick some locks. Let's go. Scout armor. That'll be helpful. Let's put some darn armor on. So we're not just getting blasted every time we're running around in circles. over here up in crate glass nux combat speed bonus smoke grenade what's that doing conceals anyone increasing their evasion that might be useful oh disarm explosive there we go thank goodness we saw that after we'd almost run into it Boomer's light. You won't get drunk, but you won't get fat either. Boomer's light. All right. Crit chance. Sign up sheet. This is a tutorial for the most part, so I'm just kind of rushing through this. We'll be taking our sweet time when we're playing through the actual campaign. Ammo, energy cells. Injury kit. Can we use that? Or what does that require? Removes injury. Hmm. Might be worth it. Um, do we still have an injury? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe we just need to survive. Let's do this as a game of... Figure out what on earth is going on. Stabbing in the dark at first. Let's put that as our secondary. Alright. Save the game. Let's go through this door. Rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. Let's go. Apparently we're not allowed to surprise these guys. That's going to cause us a problem. But not a problem we can't answer with grenades. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. It is indeed Jared Dorsey. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? I do. <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> With a bottle of key, Auntie. What's this deluge of blood you keep talking about? 
I guess you don't know your scripture. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. All right. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Darcy's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save you. Well, look how that worked out. Holy shit! They done killed Jared! Thought he was <clears throat> Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. All right, what do we got here? All right, Dorsey Killer, Dorsey Stalker, twenty-one to twenty-five damage, eighty-five percent hit chance. This guy is five to six times three, so fifteen to eighteen damage. Evasion lower. Con 102, Con 102, about the same. Just different weapons, I'm guessing. SMG or something. And, uh, this guy might do melee or. Nope, looks like a rifle. Up here, we've got a guy, an ambusher, 21 to 25. Is that the same as you? I thought you were a stalker. Same rifle then. And then this guy looks like he has a submachine gun. Five to six times three. Okay. Where's all of our full cover? Full cover, full cover. Half, half, full. Full, half. That looks destructible, though. Full, full. Ex oil tank, oil tank. All right. First thing we need to do is we need to, first of all, depend on her because she obviously does a lot of damage. 369 health. Seven, eight times three. What we're going to do... First, we know... We need to cause a problem. Can we throw a grenade in a way that causes enough of a problem over here? No. So if we know that's not the case, let's get ourselves up to this full cover and defend. That's not gonna help us to save AP if we're just willing to die here. Switch to our rocket. Have a feeling we can make a big stinking boom over here. Let's do it. What is that? Multi-kill, so we got bonuses for that. Let's put ourselves here, try and hide, and hope we can defend ourselves. We might die, but we might have to die for the cause. Excellent, they're going for the major? I mean, not to sound like... I don't care about major safety, but let's get a reload in first. Then let's get ourselves over here to some full cover. Playing it safe. Our brawler probably wants to come up here. Let's play it safe. Let's take our time. Defend. There we go. I knew you were going to come back and prioritize us. I need to turn off the setting to auto control our camera here. Alright. Wow, you have a lot of hit points. Good lord. Hack robot. How many times can we punch you? Three attacks, and then we're going to get beaten up. That's not going to end well for us. See how much... Oh, you're bleeding. See how much more damage we can do to you. Stunning shockwave, let's do it. You're stunned now. That's good. That's good for us. Stun. Now we can defend ourselves, so hopefully that guy can't hit back. Let's see if we can hit both of them. We can. That took out the rocket launcher, so we don't have to worry about it. We got a little defense going on. Let's defend ourselves now behind this full cover. Oof, that's not good. That's definitely not good. We might have to retreat and let the Major handle it. 
Out of ammo? Uh oh. We want to reload. Where do we do this? Is this our special attack? Alright, Reaper. Handle it. <laughs> worth. Well worth the trouble. See if we can, uh... Can we use a spike on them or something? There we go. Let's use a spike on our teammate there so they don't stay dead. I don't know how rare those are, but can't reload. We need more ammo. Out of ammo. Okay, we understand that. Let's get the professor here up. Pick up the items. All the garb. Ooh, a mangler with a rocket. Let's see if the mangler is better than what we have here. Where is it? There it is. It's less damage than our Polar Express. Sorry, pal. That's no good. But we will put a grenade in there so we can reload now. Can't reload fully loaded? Are you sure? What about this one? Yeah. Come on now. You gotta be smart with your reloads. All right, our characters can level up. What happens when we level up here? Do we have an attribute point? No. We just get some skill points. Let's raise our automatic weapons a point. Raise it again, because that's going to be the best thing that helps us do damage early. Explosives, leadership, sneaky. Let's focus our efforts around the explosives, I think. We want Animal Whisperer for something, but let's get Animal Whisperer so we can get an extra animal running around with us. Let's do that. I'm going to go focus on... Mr. Experience over here. We probably want to keep things fairly even, but emphasize lockpicking early. Every one of these gives us a little combat speed. We definitely don't want to be missing. So 3%, 6%, this would go up to 9%, 3% to hit. Let's try to max out our lockpicking to maximize our EXP with this guy. Because combat matters, but not nearly as much as maximizing all of our EXP whenever possible. Let's go search this corpse first. Veteran star for kiss ass. Alright. Alright, beaten, sliced open, and shot in the head. That sounds like a fun time. Internal bleeding. <laughs> we're, we're doing great, guys. This is a great start to Supreme Jerk. I suppose this isn't bad for Supreme Jerk medic pack. We need a medic first thing. Alright. Guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Oh yeah, ton of them. That's why we came alone. Private Bill. Yep. Bill's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. Now... I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. Alright, support the Patriarch, no matter what. We're gonna remember that. We're gonna make that our mission. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. That brings me to the secret orders. Secret orders? Yeah, how secret? Uh, only me. Got them from, got them from General Woodson. Alright, spill the beans. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But Angela Death. We have to find them. Yeah, we thought she was killed on a mission to California. No. She found her way home, then found out all her squad mates had died fighting. Oh, God, jeez. The murderous AI. Probably why she volunteered for the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghost. All right. Give me a second. Catch my breath. And we can go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, just how bad do you think they are? It doesn't matter how bad my wounds are. We can't stay here. Good for you. They don't call me Reaper for nothing. All right, Professor, way to go. Did you already level up again? All right, Scout Armor, Expert Pipes, what's that for? Awarded to LK for musical excellence. 
army rifle. All right, let's see what we got. Anything to boost? All right, we need some more armor, that's for sure. And combat speed to run around faster. Kiss ass ammo. A little bit going on here. All right, now Reaper's got some armor. Maybe we're not the worst. We'll put that on. Yeah, why not? You know what? Can we treat that as one point? Let's do it. And Professor already leveled up again. See, we're already doing what we should. Well, we do want our lock picking as high as possible for the most EXP, but we don't want to neglect the other stuff. Let's do some nerd and some mechanic. Nah. Let's do some uh, maximal lock picking up here, but then that costs two points, so let's focus on getting our nerd stuff up. That's what we'll do. We'll prioritize kind of lock picking, nerd stuff, and then mechanics in the very back. I wish we healed when we got a level up, but I don't think that's going to happen. We got a bunch of injury kits. We're saving up another thunder and strike, and we're we're working on a torrent strike or a nuclear strike. Leaves behind a cloud of radiation. Lead the way with Reaper. Hey, there's Major Tom. Major Tom to ground control. Focus. Rhino. Bonus armor. Crit chance. Alright. I have a feeling we're going to have to be abusing those consumables quite a bit. Ground control to Major Tomcat. Nice. But we'll use the cigarettes. What does that give us? Strike rate. Okay. We like that. Alright, we're good to go. Let's go boot this corpse. We go. Was that Major Prasad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Yeah, they got her. Definitely not us. Three. When there were fifty. Not our fault. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. Oh, your fault, was it? And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was... Trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Yeah, don't mind if we do. Be my guest. Well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate in addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. Yeah, it's fair enough, though. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Hey, fair enough, man. I'm not going to kiss your ass like this. The deal's still in place. You help me, I help Arizona. And the flame of civilization spreads its warm glow a little further into the night. That's what we all want, right? Now, <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. 
From here, you'll aid my people. Has a badass hammer. More importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe. Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. All right, there we go. That was our intro. Take a break there, and then I'll see you on the next episode.